coming up on this one liquid ptfe fails me but is it my fault yeah we're adding an additional radiator in this place this village hall but i, get, I, I need to find the gate key there's no one here hello mate should be a key safe somewhere fingers crossed one of these is the door and one of them's the uh gate key if not it's a massive trek up and down here <laughs> into the right van's in i'm in this is the hall spin you around show you what uh what we gotta do so they want a toilet oh my god it is actually freezing in here they want a radiator sorry in here in between that basin, that waste pipe, and that hand towel dispenser. Now, as you can see, why does that actually look, bro? It's not. Um, as you can see, we've got waste pipes running through the wall, hot and cold running through the wall, so there's no heating pipes in there at the minute. This is a wooden floor so you can get access underneath because it's a cellar below but where i want to be it converts to solid so in these toilets there's lights everywhere these two top ones here are running right around this toilet and that toilet and going to this radiator here so my plan is because i'm on the opposite side of this wall behind this toilet is to this is the waste pipe that you could see furthest to the right. It's to tee off somewhere here. Sorry, <laughs> somewhere here. Uh, cut them right back. Cut them back on this side as well, just to give me a bit of play and movement, hopefully. To uh, slide two tees through the wall for the radio. So that's what I've, that's what I've planned in my head what I'm gonna do. Always plan what you're gonna do before doing the job. I've seen this the other day, so I knew what was going on. Um, so we'll get some bits in and catch back up. You have to excuse the noise of the fan, but I wanna be coming through similar height to them hot and colds, if not higher. Uh, I wanna miss or avoid this waste pipe. So I've got to set up in this one first, because the plan is to get the holes through the wall first, hang the radiator, and then work my way back into here. Before draining before down, I better draining down first, so I can come through straight off these at the same height. Get these cut out of the way. Go through the wall. If that makes sense, at the same height as them two. So my T's will just slide straight through. I think. Got drain off on every single radiator. I'll just take the pressure off. Get a couple of speed fit cap ends and uh, bung the pipes for now, just to give me a bit of freedom. This is the boiler, just a combi. 33 kilowatt. I don't know how to shut these off on boxes, but we'll give it a whirl. Probably won't work. Set the pressure off system here. Ideally, I wanted to be on that radiator or the one in the toilet there, but neither of them two have got drain offs on. Of course they haven't. Closest to where I'm working is what I wanted. With the pressure off now, I'll get these cut here, 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 and here out of the way. Just chuck some cap ends on this stuff is getting flooded because I'm pressing this. I don't really need the water to be empty, completely empty. It can still run a little bit. So after much measuring and one miss, <laughs> uh, I've got one all through. Show you what happened on the other side though. So when I came in here, these hot and cold pie work actually comes through a lot higher than the tiled skirting board. So I realised that I needed to be higher than that. And the skating board, I couldn't come through here. Uh, and that was my first one. <clears throat> but I hit right slap bang on the waste pipe. Thankfully didn't do any damage to it because I was leaning against it on here, I could feel it. Um, so with that, with the other one, I'm gonna come across to like here maybe and come through. I got both of them two through now there. Now, at the minute I'm walking down the hall through the doors, out to my van. There's a fire door right here. 
I don't think it has any sensors on it. Would you risk it? I think we'll risk it. Interesting video though if Fire Brigade turn up. Speaking of which, it wouldn't be the first time the Fire Brigade has turned up on one of my jobs. That's another story. <laughs> Do some washers on them. Boom! Don't forget to put your little anti vibe, anti rattle clips on. And it comes with these for locking it, locking the radiator on at the top. What you do with them is you have to chuck them over there. Ladies and gentlemen, is the radiator hung? Had to keep it quite high off the ground because obviously pipe work. And what I've done on this side is Lined it up, it will move left and right. Lined it up so it's going to come straight out of there, elbow and in. And this one will come out of here, elbow, across, kick, elbow, in. That is the plan. Now, do I pipe it up from this side in or do I pipe it up from the other side, opposite side out? I'm, th I'm thinking pipe it up in the other little toilet room, leave it sticking out here, and then I can try and try and. Uh, Try and do it from this side. It's, uh, decision making in this job. Second guessing yourself, whatever's easiest. That's what you're looking for. There's a lot of talking in this video. So give it a thumbs down if it's rubbish. That's what I'm gonna be working to. I need to tape these up as they go through the wall. Put, a tape, put some uh, gaffer tape on it just to protect it from getting attacked by the plaster and brickwork, etc. One of these, because I've put them both through coming through at the same height, uh, da, 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 da. This one's probably going to come across. I don't know how to do this yet. Uh, probably do the bottom one first across. And then the top one in. And then when it gets to here, we'll have to have a little crossover. And then across it. Yeah, does that make sense? Because this pipe's going to be up and in its way. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense to me, all right? All right, so we're a little bit further on now. I just thought I'd just get on with a bit. I've done this side. In this room, obviously not in the other room. Uh, that'll leave me cross over here, across T, and that should be the only one we do. Don't know what I was on about before. Yeah, I, I was going to put a little square bend here, but one, this elbow matches up with the other elbows still here, and two, I needed that elbow to give me a bit of leeway to get the press fit in, the coupling in here. So I'll carry on doing the other side, and then we'll catch you back when I'm in there. So that's us connected up in here now. All pressed and finished, just need to do the other side. I'll hoover up in here and fill up round the holes and uh, stuff. When this floor's dried a bit more. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> I think I know what it is. There's no uh, hammer, but there. Crazy. It's still going. <laughs> Now this is one of the massive downsides to press. One, because I haven't got the um, angled jaws which sit tight to the wall because they're extortionate and the waiting list was horrendous. I don't even know if they're still in stock now. They've been talking about it for the past two years. Um, for this style gun, should I say. The REMS, they've got them. I think they have got them now for this style though, but don't quote me on that. But my point is, I won't be able to get the gun here don't think I'll be able to get it from there. So I definitely won't be able to get it on that. So I'll have to take the radiator back off, just lift it off, press them up, and then radiate it back on before I connect up. So I've just finished that now. I left both sides of the back, both valves off on each side of the radiator. Um, because if we do have a leak, you don't want to be uh, filling the radiator up, up as well, because it just means draining, draining it down again. I've shut the drain off on the radiator that I initially opened to release the pressure. Uh, that needs to be opened up. <laughs> to which they didn't work anyway. Usual backsy. Get a little bit of pressure in. Top this up to one and go and have a check. That's always a good sign. Well, for the first time ever, Rapid Blues failed me. And that, at, I only, can only put it down to the fact that it's only been a, around 10 minutes let me tighten that in. I'll take that out now. Either dry it up or just probably PTFE it. 
and it proves it didn't go off because I would definitely not be able to do this to get it back out again. <laughs> I was panicking a bit, no matter how well did itself together. And then you have to warm it up, soften it and it'll undo them. It's back on now, both valves are on, it's repressurized. Just give this a bleed, learn the lesson on that. Make sure you give it, I don't know, a good 20 minutes before allowing any water, water in. Uh, this side was done probably two minutes before that side, so that might explain why that never failed. I've yeah. got no excuse on this really, because I've had plenty of time to put the tails in the radios. <laughs> Should've just done it earlier. So I'll get the heating up and running now to make sure this is, everything, well everything's back up and running and this one's working. Hoover, hoover up in here and fill, fill these little holes in, tidy up. That's all made good in here. I'm made good in here. It's coming on now, nice and warm. Good. So that's it, job done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't already, as I say this every single week. 2K giveaway with a, a random assortment of stuff, but it's a big one. This week's shout out is going to, I'd no doubt you already know him, but Mr. Alan Hart, he's humongous on YouTube and he's an inspiration to most plumbers. So his little tag here with a link in the description. Catch you on the next one.